Welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Flickr WordPress plugin with your WordPress site. Um, here we're going to be using Flickr, which is a very popular photography site. You can host a lot of your pictures here. They actually give you one terabyte, of, uh, one terabyte free and a lot of other features, which is very popular for photographers. So, um, the nice thing, too, is that you can actually take a plugin and create a link to it and very easily link it to your WordPress site. So we're going to go through that. So here we're going to actually sign in to work to Flickr. And the actual things that we're going to be linking are the albums. So here I'm going to go to the albums for my, for my group here. And I'm going to pick one of these albums to link to a site, and we'll see that here at the end of the process. When you actually use the, the plugin, you will be installing it on WordPress first. So we'll do that before we begin. So you would go to Plugins in WordPress, and then you click on Add New. And we're going to look for, under Search Plugin, we're going to look for the Flickr Album Gallery Plugin. And hit Enter. It'll find it. And this is the actual plugin here by Weblizer. And we're going to click on Install Now. And you want to say Yes, OK. Once it finishes um, the install process, you want to click on Activate Plugin. When you activate the plugin, you're going to see that it's added an item in your menu. And it's also added the option to your install plugins. So the first part of uh, actually connecting these two is creating an, a key or an API connection. And we're going to go through that real quick right now. So I have to go back to Flickr. And in Flickr, where you go is you go to Explore, and there's a, an option here called App Garden. And you click on App Garden, and you can see that you can create an app here at the very top. So I'm going to click on Create an App. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and request an API key. Now, if you're commercial, you want to choose that you're using commercial, and if you're non-commercial, we're going to want to select uh, non-commercial. This all has to do with whether or not you're making profit. Please make sure to read these items here so that you fall within the licenses uh, that are required by Flickr. So if you click on, uh, I'm going to click on apply for a non-commercial key, so I'm just demonstrating the product. And we're going to call this the Flickr album gallery link. WordPress. I acknowledge that all the uh, all the Flickr members are on the right to their own content. We're only showing my content, so and then you would want to view the Flickr API terms of use. I'm going to click on submit, and here you're going to see a key, and you want to store these keys for later use. You will be using the top key for the app. Okay, so the next part of this is going on into uh, your back to your WordPress site. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to go ahead and create a new gallery. And so I'm going to click on Add New Gallery at the top of the option here. And here you can see that there's a key already in place. We're going to go ahead and grab the key that I had earlier from creating. And the second part is the Flickr album ID. Now, the Flickr album ID is actually uh, um, obtained by going into your, your, your Flickr site, and then you go to your albums. So we're going to go back to your albums. And, you, and I'm going to choose an album that I want to display. I have a very simple album here. And once you select your album, when you look in the actual bar, the address bar, you'll see the number at the very top, at the very end of the URL. So I'm going, to, I'm going to select that number and I'm going to copy it with a Control C or a Command C if you're on a Mac. Go back to my WordPress site and I'm going to paste that album ID in here. And I can choose to show whether the gallery title is showing or not. 
So right now I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm ready to publish this because I have my key, I have my album ID, and I don't need to save as the draft. I'm just going to go ahead and click on publish. The other thing before I continue, I'm sorry, I, I needed to mention this, is you're going to need to have this code right here, which is the album gallery short code. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. These albums don't show up on your WordPress site until you either put them in a post or a page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this short code and put it in a page. I'm going to do that here shortly after I hit publish. So I'm going to go to a page. I'm going to click on add new. And I'm going to call this a Samuel Gallery. And here I'm going to post my short code, which I copied from the other page. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then publish it. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at my WordPress site. And you should see that I added a page called Sandler Gallery. If I click on Sandler Gallery, I should see the album pop up. And there you go. This is a very handsome looking gallery. And you can see the pages pop up very quickly. And then they have an option here at the bottom where you can select different pictures as well, the individual pictures within the gallery or move left and right between them. And there, that is the end of my tutorial for using the WordPress Flickr Album Gallery plugin. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.